So you may have just picked up a Google Pixel and you might be trying to figure out some of the first applications that you might be wanting to delete from this specific phones. Now, I will tell you from what I can find, there's not a lot that are built in straight from your Google Pixel that are you know deletable. A lot of them are Google built in applications. You can actually delete them, but you can still force stop them. You can uninstall certain updates with them too. And that's kind of what I would recommend doing. So making our way over to settings, what I would recommend doing is going straight into your apps portion of your specific you know, settings application, you want to scroll down into where you see this little dropped arrow where it's see all 70 apps or see how many apps you have. And there you can start going through and actually for stopping and or uninstalling updates of certain applications. Now, if we go and scroll through the only ones I would recommend in terms of like these system ones, it, the ones that you can see in your app drawer, I wouldn't even mess with. I wouldn't mess with like Android Auto or Android System Web View. I wouldn't mess with anything like that. But ones in which you have certain, you know, workarounds or like substitutes of these applications, I would just recommend uninstalling the updates for stopping them and seeing if you can uninstall them if you have a you know custom ROM iPhone Android. So what I recommend doing here for calculator for example, if you don't use calculator or if you use another type of calculator app, just go and click for stop and go and click disable and it'll go ahead and disable the application and it tells you if you disable this app, Android and other apps may longer no longer function. Now, it only do this if you have a workaround or a substitute of those applications. Now, calendar is one that I actually see a lot of people kind of disabling, and it's because they may use a different calendar app. So typically, I love Google Calendar, but this may be another application that you want to go and force stop and that you actually want to go ahead and disable for the time being. So you can click disable here. If you want to re-enable it, just click re-enable, and that's another thing you can do. Now scrolling through, I'd recommend keeping the stock camera app. A lot of people like that. The stock clock and contacts application as well as another one people typically like. Now Google Drive is one that is kind of a little complicated. I wouldn't recommend disabling it because they give you 15 gigabytes of free storage, so you might as well keep it. But like I mentioned, if you are somebody who is already using a different drive, like you know, whether it's iCloud Drive, which is not your Android, OneDrive is another one, then you might as well go ahead and you know force stop this and disable it. That way it's not you know sucking up storage and whatnot in the background. Now, files and files by Google, I'd recommend keeping on Gboard as well. I'd recommend keeping on. So scrolling through, Gmail is another one. If you're using another email client, you can go ahead and just force stop this, disable it. And that, again, will help. You can also uninstall the updates if you really want to. If you're not using Gmail at all, then there's not really a big point of using it right there either. Scrolling through again, all of these I wouldn't recommend messing with. Scrolling through again, Maps is another one. This is kind of 50-50. If you want to disable it or force stop it, again, if you have a work, if you have another one that you're using, like Wise Apps or something, then of course you can disable Maps. But there are some other things that you shouldn't mess with, like location services or anything that you should probably keep on if you want to have like a solid one. Netflix is one that you can uninstall because I just installed it, you know, separately. A lot of these ones, if they say Pixel Launcher, Phone, Pixel Buds, Pixel Tips is one you can probably disable if you want to. But those types of ones I wouldn't mess with. Now, Pixel Tips you can go ahead and disable as well because it's just like a, it's just kind of an annoying pop up that comes up every once in a while, and you really don't need that to be on either. Recorder, recorder. If you're somebody who's using a different recording application, then you know this is a voice recorder one. Then obviously you don't have to keep this one in. But if you're using another one, then obviously you can go and disable this or force stop it and go down that direction as well. I wouldn't mess with settings. Yeah, you can't even disable it. I wouldn't mess with any of these applications for the most part. And that takes us pretty much to the bottom. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If you never use YouTube, then you can disable this one too. But for the most part, those are pretty much the applications I would recommend disabling. If you already have, or you can even scroll, you know, scroll it down to disabled apps. Those are the only apps I would recommend messing with. The rest I wouldn't really touch. And those are kind of the first applications I would recommend deleting and or disabling from your Google Pixel. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.